Okay, thank you, uh, everybody. Well, uh, in the time that we're waiting for uh, acquisition of signal, it's uh, about uh, one minute before, uh, I will tell you that we are now sitting in, uh, in the shack with 26 degrees, is 77 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. And yesterday and the day before, it was 41 degrees Celsius, it's about 107 of 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are lucky to assist you today in a very, very good condition. So that's all. And uh, I start calling now because uh, I think it's, uh, it's time. Oscar Radio 4 ISS, Oscar Radio 4 ISS. This is Oscar November 4, India, Sierra, Sierra, for copying you in an Irish cattle contact. How copy me, over. Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, Oscar Romeo 4 ISS, this is Oscar November 4, India Sierra Sierra for an Irish scale contact. How copy, over. Okay, Drew, I hear you a little bit in the noise, so it's uh, not comfortable, but maybe it's uh, better in the next uh, transmission, over. Switching channel, is that correct? Over. <laughs> oh, yes, we're switching alternative frequency. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Oscar Romeo 4, he is ISS. Oscar Romeo 4, ISS. Uh, this is Oscar November 4, India, Sierra, Sierra, calling you for an Irish cattle contact in backup frequency. Over. <laughs> Oscar Romeo 4, ISS, this is Oscar November 4, India, Sierra, Sierra, calling you for an Irish cattle contact in backup frequency. Over. Sierra, Sierra, uh, on alternate frequency. Over. Uh, loud and clear. Over. Clear over. Loud and clear over. Oscar Romeo 4 ISS is over 4 ISS. Copy over. Happened, but we have a strong signal, so go it over. What do you think is the most important Okay, uh, scouts, go ahead over. What do you think is the most important thing um, you believe young people should do in scouting to help them in their future careers, such as being an astronaut or working in the sciences? Over. The first question, uh, Drew, over. Uh, Roger, that uh, I have the first question, and uh, I think that the most important thing that uh, young people should be uh, focusing on scouting is wanting to be a good citizen and character development. I think those are critically important to life. Of course, studying, uh, studying the part and doing well in school is very important, but don't underestimate the value of character development and being a good citizen. Over. Hello, my name is Santiago. Here at the World Jamboree, we would like to trade items with scouts from around the world as a way to bond and remember our, our new friendships. Do you ever trade patches or parts of your uniforms with your international crew members? Over. Patches from our individual astronaut corps, and we definitely trade patches. 
Cheers, we enjoy doing that very much. Cheers, guys, go. Hi, I'm Tom. What is the most single prettiest place or region on Earth to see from space? Over. Well, you know, this has uh, only been my first week on board the ISS, but we had a beautiful pass over North Africa earlier today, and as we speak, I'm looking down from the Russian segment of the International Space Station, and I can see Europe. I'm looking down on France. It's all so beautiful. I couldn't pick just one place. Over. Go, Scouts. Hello, my name is Ali. Do you bring something special with you when you get back so you can say this has been in space? Over. Well, yes, we do bring some personal items. We have a small allotment of things that we can bring. My children gave me a few items. I've taken things with me uh, that represent parts of my life. And of course, I brought my scout uniform. Uh, I'm an adult assistant scout minister in my son's Boy Scout group. I also brought his Eagle Scout badge with me. And I also brought some memorabilia from the World Scout Jamboree that will fly with me. And I'll be giving that back. And I'll gladly say that this was a space during Expedition 60. Over. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Abu Bakr. And what food do you, do you miss the most that you can't have in space? Over. Well, you know, we have uh, actually quite a variety of food available to us. And we have vehicles that come and deliver resupply every couple of months. And they can even bring fresh food to us. So our food supply is so good, it's hard to miss anything. But there are definitely some things like pizza and ice cream that are just a little bit too hard for us to sometimes get on board the International Space Station. Over. Hello, my name is Noah McCallig. What if the ISS lost communication with Earth? Over. Well, as you can imagine, we have lots of different communication paths with the Earth, and uh, we like to have multiple ways so that we don't lose the communication with the ground, but there are short periods of time often that we can't have the ideal communication for the best uh, clear communication that we want, but believe it or not, this ham radio that I'm talking to you on is one of our contingency or one of our emergency methods of speaking to the ground because there are so many amateur radio operators all over the world who would be listening to us if we ever needed to communicate through amateur radio. Over. Hi, my name's Tyler Schroeder. What kind of emergency drills or practice do you do aboard the ISS and how often? Over. space than you do on Earth. Over. Well, you know, even on Earth, we often don't drink enough water, uh, but in space it's even more important. It's easy for us to dry out, and uh, we have to, we really like to uh, uh, drink plenty of water, and we track that so we know exactly how much. We shoot for drinking uh, close to two and a half liters a day to keep our bodies well hydrated. Hello, my name is Sota. How do the plants orientate themselves to glow in space? Over. Well, that's a great question. Uh, the short answer is we don't know exactly, but we do know that plants need the direction of gravity to help to know what direction to grow. In fact, we have a, an experiment that will be ongoing during our expedition called Space Moths, where we're looking exactly at that, not just uh, the direction that the plant grows, but also the direction that the root system grows. Uh, and this is an experiment run by the Japanese Space uh, Agency in the Japanese Experimental Module. Over. Hello, my name is Izzy. Is the biological cell division the same in, uh, as in space as in Earth? Over. That's an interesting question and one that we are studying actively. We know that cells, of course, do divide in space, but what we don't know is how they know when to stop uh, and how that is dependent on gravity. Also, 
so we do believe that cells can that potentially form shapes and, and form tissues that would be difficult to do on Earth. Just today, you know, the SpaceX, uh, SpaceX Dragon vehicle brought us a new payload, a new experiment called the Biofabrication Facility that will look at how cells divide to form tissues in microgravity in hopes that one day we could produce small organs and tissue plants that we could not do on Earth with gravity, but perhaps could do in microgravity in space and understand it better. Over. Last minute. Over. Hello, this is Ian. How did it feel to see Earth from space for the first time? Over. It was fantastic. I can't, I was struck by how dark space was and how blue the Earth was. The contrast was striking. And then how far below the clouds where I could see the shadow between clouds projecting on the ocean below. And it was just a tiny little space relative to how high I was above it. And then the first time sunset and a sunrise. It was magnificent. It was as incredible as any picture I had seen, but it was all around me. And it's the light coming in the windows filled the room just like through the windows of your own home. It was incredible. Over. Hello again. A part of the scout law is the scout is reverent. Have you had a memorable mo moment during your time on the ISS that has led you to showing reverence? Over. Romeo 4, this is Oscar November 4, India, Sierra Sierra. We are lots of single, lots of...